it is not serious by itself who has named it as a uh, variant of interest that means we watch it carefully we keep on tracking this keep on understanding its structure and so on this variant has been present in 36 to 40 other countries originally reported in europe way back in august so it's under watch uh, and we have to do our job in terms of uh, tracking it and studying it much better important point again to repeat is that what we know Uh, as of now that it causes mild cough and fever upper respiratory infection uh, there have been 16 deaths over 2 weeks amid an increase in covid-19 cases in the country union health minister mansukh mandviya on wednesday reviewed the preparedness of health facilities and asked states to be on alert and increase surveillance Union Health Minister virtually chaired a high level meeting with health ministers of various states to assess the current status and preparedness on COVID-19. The meeting was also attended by Dr. Rajiv Behel of ICMR, Dr. VK Paul, member health Niti Aayog and Dr. Soumya Swaminathan. The members who attended the review meeting were shown a presentation on the surge in cases in the last few weeks. A top government official told News 18 that so far there are 21 cases of JN.1 detected in India out of which 20 samples are from Goa and one from Kerala. All these cases showed mild symptoms and people recovered within their houses on their own. Overall XBB variants of Omicron continue to dominate across India. A growing COVID-19 variant JN.1 has taken off this holiday season in several countries, but experts suggest that there isn't anything alarming in India yet, but there is a definite need to go on alert mode. In the review meeting, Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandviya announced to start mock drills once Three months at both central and state levels and share best practices. He also asked states to monitor emerging evidence of COVID-19 cases, symptoms, and case severity to plan appropriate public health responses. States and union territories have been advised to send samples of all COVID-19 positive cases to Insacog labs to facilitate tracking of new variants. States have also been urged to create awareness. manage infodemic and ensure dissemination of factually correct information union health minister also urged states to ensure preventive measures are taken in view of the cold conditions during winter season and the upcoming festival season he said that there should be no laxity in our preparedness health is not an area for any politics and the union health ministry is available for every support According to experts JN.1 carries an additional spike mutation L455S this mutation is suspected to have the potential to escape immunity lineage JN.1 was first found in Luxembourg and as per the latest numbers it has been spotted in more than 38 countries as it is christmas and holiday time the movement of international travelers generally goes up as an annual routine hence this is the time when pathogens can also cross borders and screening at airports becomes very important experts pointed out that we must notice that every new wave comes in the month of december or in winter starting from the first wave to the delta wave and then to omicron but there is no need to panic because the situation 2 years ago was different from this situation now Today more than 90% of our population is vaccinated. However, there is a need to alert people as during the festive or holiday period the exposure goes up. Those who are vulnerable or at risk such as elderly must mask up and avoid unnecessary exposure. According to media reports doctors have been reporting symptoms observed recently in COVID-19 patients including fever runny nose sore throat headache and occasionally mild gastrointestinal issues a doctor quoted in a media report who treated patients infected with the latest strains noted that the majority of patients undergo mild upper respiratory symptoms usually resolving within 4 to 5 days